There's actually a lot of news to get to today, but I am going to start off, at least for this video, talking about NBA 2K18 on Nintendo Switch. So we know that NBA 2K18 is coming to Switch. We know that for some reason the digital version is going to be there at launch, but now we know the physical version isn't releasing until October 17th. Really strange that there's that discrepancy, that whole month and two day wait for the physical version. Not really sure why. They still haven't given an official explanation. All they did is announce when it's coming and remind people that you can buy it digitally on the 15th. But whatever. That that's that that's an aside to what I want to talk about today. Because NBA 2K18 on Nintendo Switch was playable at an event from like yesterday. I, I believe the event took place yesterday. And now that we have some people who have gone hands-on with it, uh, we've learned some new things about it. And let me just explain uh, the general gist of what we now know, based on the information I was able to look up all over the internet. All right. So first, I'm reading this news right off of NintendoEverything.com. I'll put a link down in the description. It says, uh, 2K Sports and Visual Compsense seem to be treating the Switch version of NBA 2K18 well. Folks are starting to go hands-on with the game, including US Gamer, and we're hearing that it's feature complete and will be identical to the PlayStation 4 version, and we're talking about in terms of feature set. NBA 2K18 players on Switch can expect the inclusion of the My GM Team Management, My League, My Career, Story Mode, and everything else, and it's using the exact same engine across all platforms. Amiibo support is also officially confirmed, however, the specifics on how that works are being kept under wraps. The only element missing in the Switch version of NBA 2K18 is the ability to create a custom logo for Pro-Am teams. The same My Player story is included as the other versions as well. As far as graphics go, the animation and AI are also the same across all platforms. Developer Visual Concepts apparently pushed the Switch and its memory to its absolute limits. The team considered whether or not to use the same engine with Switch, but they're glad they went in that direction. In addition, NeoGAF was able to do some additional snooping, and it turns out that the game runs at 720p while docked. Obviously, we already know that that's exactly what it runs at when it's undocked, uh, but it runs at 30 FPS docked and undocked, which is half of the FPS that it does get on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, where it runs at 60 FPS, and NBA 2K has been running at 60 FPS almost, I think, since the beginning of the 2K series. I'm not sure. So that is a bit of a bummer, but... You know there has to be a sacrifice, right? And this is where I, I've been critical of EA, and I know some people um, are, are just fine with FIFA 18, the way it looks on, on Switch, and having missing features, and uh, maybe even nodding their head in agreement with the excuse that they didn't want to make what looks like a, a worse version of a current-gen game, which it still looks like a worse version of a current-gen game. I'm sorry, it just does. Uh, and I don't actually think that's a problem, to be honest, which is why I think that excuse is stupid. But... It's very interesting because I'll put up some footage here, and this footage comes from YouTuber Mobile01. I'm assuming they were at the event, uh, and this is the only footage, like the, the very clear footage we have of it. Yes, it is off screen, uh, as you can tell. Uh, there's no direct feed footage. Direct feed footage was not allowed to be recorded at the event, so you're going to have to wait till people have review copies in their hands or until the game releases on the 15th if you want to see more direct feed. But it looks good. Uh, just based on this little 1 minute 28 second clip, it looks solid. Uh, we're seeing Golden State against Cleveland Cavaliers. No surprise, rematch of the finals. And I got to say, the animations look great. Uh, the passing looks great. There doesn't seem to be any stuttering. So while it is 30 FPS, it doesn't seem to be dipping. So it must be a locked 30 FPS. And it would have been interesting to see if they would have unlocked the FPS if it could have went higher than 30. Even if it can only get into the 40s, that might have been preferable for some people. But uh, yeah, it, it looks good. Now, what it looks like on a big screen, I don't know. Uh, we have some footage of it on a big screen, but there's no games. So the footage that's out there is like the NBA playgrounds, open like like open world aspect they added to this game, which is included with Switch. But see, 
This is the, what I'm talking about when it comes to third-party support on Switch. Now, I'm getting NBA 2K18. I'm a huge NBA fan, and the fact it's coming to Switch and has all the features. I'm, you know, I have an Xbox One. I could get it for that, which it will run at 30 FPS, but I also get to take it with me on the go. That, to me, is a huge selling point for me to get NBA 2K18 on Switch, and such, I'm going to get it. And it's interesting because I, I'm always an advocate for FPS. I think FPS is more important than visuals, and I think... For the sake of NBA 2K18, personally, I wouldn't have minded if they downgraded the visuals in order to hit 60 FPS. However, I understand that the better the games look, the better they're going to sell. And I'm also somebody who, while I don't like games being 30 FPS, I'd rather they be 60 FPS or higher, I don't also think that 30 FPS is some unplayable mess like some other people do. So I actually, you know, watching this video, I think that's perfectly playable, perfectly acceptable, perfectly okay. I, I would, pre would prefer 60, but I'm okay at 30, uh, especially with the, the portable aspect. And I got to say, uh, for selling reasons, you know, the reason that visuals fidelity is often put ahead of frame rate is because it sells better. And visually, this looks good. Now, granted, this is just in portable mode. Uh, it's not going to look as good. Let me just say this right now. It's not going to look as good as the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One versions. When the comparisons come out and the videos come out, it's not going to look as good. But I think it's going to be surprising how well it actually looks. And the important part is the gameplay is intact. So while it is half the frame rate, all the animations are the same, all the features are the same, the game plays the same. That's the important part, uh, even if it's not as silky smooth. So I, I'm just really happy. And this is the kind of treatment I think I want. Uh, it, you know, I, I can't say for sure until I play it, but I'm pretty sure this is the treatment I want third parties to do on Switch. We have to realize that for any multi-platform game that's on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One and PC that comes to Switch, unless it's an indie title, there's probably going to have to be sacrifice somewhere, whether it's resolution, whether it's frame rate, whether it's graphic fidelity, draw distance, anti-aliasing, all this stuff. There's going to be sacrifices to bring it to Switch because Switch is not as powerful as an Xbox One and a PlayStation 4 and gaming PCs. That's just reality. It's not. But the fact that 2K literally put their best foot forward, this is not like a half hour port here. See, the, the 2K they brought to uh, Wii U felt a little you know, half cocked as it were. And here we're getting what is definitely a 100% true to form NBA 2K18 experience on Nintendo Switch. This is what I want people to do. I want Call of Duty. I want, you know, Mass Effect and <laughs> Assassin's Creed Origins. I want all these games to come to Switch and do it in a way where they understand there's going to be sacrifices. And I think for me as a Switch owner, I'm okay with those sacrifices because the big bonus you get with Switch over any other version of the game is the ease of portability uh, between using it on my TV and taking it with me on the go. And if it's a feature complete game that has the same gameplay with nothing cut from it, like you know, like NBA 2K18, uh, but the visuals have to be downgraded, or for some reason, you know, not for some reason, we understand why the FPS has to be cut from 60 to 30. I'm okay with that. I don't actually think that's a problem. So. It's very good news to me that this is happening, and I hope that other third parties take note. I hope that uh, even if FIFA tanks, let's say FIFA 18 does not sell well, but NBA 2K18 does. I hope EA doesn't give up on the Switch. They look at what 2K did and be like, okay, it was the wrong decision. We should have went with Frostbite, and we should have, even if we had to cut the frame rate on it down to 30, we could have enhanced the visuals to a point where it looks pretty close to the Xbox One. And at that point, people are going to love that thing on the go because everyone knows that there has to be sacrifices for it to be on the go. And it's all about what you want to sacrifice, what's going to sell, and obviously visuals, uh, 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 NBA 2K18 that looks almost as good as the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One version is going to sell better than one that doesn't, even if it runs at a higher frame rate. Frame rates, unfortunately, do not sell copies of video games to the general mass, and NBA 2K18 has an appeal to general consumers of the NBA. So they have to worry about visual fidelity above frame rate. But yeah, I'm excited. I think this is the future of third-party support on the Switch. I don't care. You know, I, I want an Xbox One X. I want a PlayStation 4 Pro. I have a high-end or a higher-end gaming PC. It only has a GTX 1070. I would love to get a 1080 Ti in there eventually. But I'm pretty pleased 
or even a Vega 64, to be honest. I, I'm, I'm, I've always liked AMD. Anyways, but I, I love what they're doing, but at the same time, I hope other third parties are taking note because if other third parties can see what they're doing and NBA 2K18 becomes a big success on Switch, that is the path, I think, to future third-party support. The fact that NBA 2K18 can look this good, play this smooth, be feature complete, and use a current-gen engine, that tells me, I'm sorry, the excuses everyone gives is just they don't want to put in the effort. That's it. So anytime I hear a third-party say, we can't do it because of um, our engine doesn't fully support the Switch, or this or that, or visual this, or whatever, or frame rate that, all I'm going to say is NBA 2K18. Done. Stop arguing. Put in the effort. Yes. Thank you, NBA 2K18. Thank you, 2K. Uh, thank you, the other developers that are behind the, the Switch version specifically, which is Visual Concepts. Thank you so much for putting your 100% effort into a Switch version of a game, not a half hour port. I am so thrilled right now. I Man, be that bastion, 2K. I'm, I'm so happy. Oh, and by the way, 2K, tell Rockstar we want their games too. <laughs> Anyways, folks, I am Nathaniel Ruffle Dance from Nintendo Prime. If you like this video, you know what to do. And if you dislike this video, hit that dislike button, subscribe for more, and as always, I will catch you in the next one.